What's up my lovely Bumberinas and Bumberinas, Lamnis is back today. Before we start off with the Guild War, I wanna um, talk about the new update which hit today. I don't have the Paladin because I did not farm um, uh, Lauren, the Light Cowgirl, uh, last Sunday because I did not expect the patch to hit this, this soon. I was really expecting it to like I thought maybe in two weeks or something like this. I really did not expect it. So I can't fuse with the Paladin, but since I've looked at the skills of the Paladins, I really think uh, that they are all really good monsters, really good tanks. Uh, I think they are designed to some kind of uh, counter the speed meta. And yeah. I would have wished something that could um, be like, I don't know, um, um, resistant to what is called a reset for Ganymede or like attack bomb manipulation so like Hathor and Ganymede will not be as strong anymore against uh, the Paladins but they are still pretty good and of course you should I think you should uh, fuse the light paladin. I will on both accounts. It's not like the fire panda. I've never fused one on this account because if you don't have a lot of trouble with necro, you don't really need the fire panda. Maybe frontliner for uh, raid or rift, but not really anywhere else. And so let's see what did he say. Light Paladin can't heal herself. So, one thing maybe you were asking for was answered by my guildmate. And the second thing, uh, thing is the Magic Knights. They got another buff. And the water one is pretty nice now. It, it absorbs attack power with the third skill. And decreases attack power with, his, with her first skill. I think she's no... I think... I would go... Violent Revenge on her or Vampire Revenge. I would not go Despair, even though you are reducing attack bar. I would still go with Violent. And maybe she's now even viable in PvP. I don't know, but I have all of them six out on my alt account. So maybe I will rune them up next rune removal, which should be, I think, uh, next Saturday. And yeah, that's like a little wrap about the update and my thoughts on it I don't think it's worth making a sole video only uh, on thoughts for this update because we all knew what was coming and yeah like I said the Paladins I think all of them are great um, I think which one was it that was the cleansing one give me a second here just this one thing and then we're gonna uh, go over to uh, create the shield um, this one looks really interesting can only attack her it's better than the provoke um, and makes the ally invincible I wish this was an AoE because it's only one turn and she will have immunity every time she attacks that's nice. I think it was the water one with the passive, right? Yeah. Removes all harmful effects on you when you're under an ability effect and creates a shield that's proportionate to 20% of your HP on, a, on allies for two turns. You'll instantly recover a turn afterwards. Ah, uh, this would be nice if it wasn't on cooldown, like six turn cooldown. This would be great if, sh if this wasn't on cooldown, it would be like a new Camilla, really, a new Camilla would be born here. Yeah, uh, she strips and provokes. Um, then it was the wind one, I think. Um, recovers the HP of all else, but uh, decreases the chance. Um, no. Yeah, it was the water one I was talking about. And the dark one looks so great, like this one. Balances the defense and attack power so the, that the stat with the lower value will have the same value as the set of the higher value but is this 
a global passive so will it apply to everyone to your team or is it only for herself if it is for herself it's nice since she has really high defense and if you give her like full defense build with some HP since like when she's awakened she she gets better stun rate on this and all of her skills scale with attack so she can do really good damage while being tanky and don't need much HP yeah and she looks nice but I really think they should give them some skins this, I don't like the hair like all of it is nice but the head looks weird it's too big look, for that body either they could have made her a bit bulkier but that head looks too big <laughs> and they have really nice leader skills so yeah the light one yeah it provokes all enemies for two turns that's really nice I hope this goes down to three turns cooldown or something like this that would be really nice and yeah recovers the HP of an ally with the lowest HP by 10% Alright, she heals, but by 10% of the allies HP of her max HP. If it is of her max HP, it would be nice, since she has really nice base HP and good stats, yeah. So that's all for the Light Paladin, really nice monsters, I can't wait to summon my own, I mean fuse my own. So, um, yeah, let's see. Let's start off with the lowest one because Waltery is. Um, pretty decent guild. So, let's start off easy and then we can work our um, ways higher. Yeah, I have 6 up Rakuni. And he's really nice. I really love him. So, for the first one, I think we can go something old school. Maybe, you know, let's, no, for the second one, we can do it. Can we? There's the strip for more long, though. Yeah, let's go for the first one. Um, let's Katarina the first one. Or old school Katarina team. And hope we kill Varad and Wind Monkey. For the second one, or Light team with Raccoonie to cleanse the stunts yeah this this is nice and Molong will always go for Raccoonie so yeah this should be in the bank unless it's a violent Molong which uh, is the trend right now everyone is building their Molongs on violent so they strip turn one and then go into reckless assault and squishy targets will be on 70% health All right, can we please kill Barat? Nope. Ah, oh. Fucking Barat cut in between Fucking Barat Yeah, this is already lost because Ooh, Straight up goes for it. Let's heal ourselves again Nice no we can work on Molong since he nearly killed himself no protection from Chandra. I don't know if it's supposed to be like this. No violence. Let's do this. Oh, fucking too soon. Fucking too soon. Ooh. Yeah, let's give ourselves a tech bar here. Boom. Come on, no resistance. Stop that resist. Can we proc a violent, please, Amana? Nope. Like Raccoonie. She's. Raccoonie's only on filler runes. Ooh. Ooh. They are going so many turns here. And I cannot kill this guy. Fucking cannot kill it. Oh, I need some violence here. Can we please proc a violent? Protection and he kills. Can a mama, a mama, <laughs> a mama 
a mana revive before no 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 oh. cannot save it this should be in the bank I wanted to start off easy but I fucked it up I fucked it up oh my god why am I always losing when I'm like when I do guild wars alone it's always so easy it never happens but then I I get like this bullshittery and I get raped so hard so for the first one I think like there's an Orion Maybe we can go something like Theomars, Tazarian, and just soon. And for the second one, I need some kind of stripper here. I will pick Chivu as a stripper. And then I need something to kill Huara. And something Bora that can take the bomb with all the tech buff Ooh, my cho is not good ruined very well some water tank I don't have any water tanks that could take yeah she's on will runes so she could take one hit and after that we can work with immunity but how are we supposed to kill Huaram with this do we have enough damage? I don't think so. But maybe with the dots and all this, maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. But I did not... Uh, I did not need Chivo anymore. Since I go, I went with Pra. I could have gone with Faye. Yeah. Armor break on Jasun, perfect. Please counter. No counter. Can we armor break, please? Oh, perfect. Perfect. Now we can... Hopefully kill. Can we crit please? Ah this is this is shit. My Theomas is faster than my Jasoon. So noob like. Oh. Three turns and kills my Fucking Tazarian, fucking Tazarian! Come on, just soon. Come on, Theomars, do something. Kill that fucking Orion here and get the armor breaker out of the picture. Come on, proc a violent, no violent. Don't proc. <laughs> this game <laughs> is always trying to provoke me as hard as possible. Like, what is this? What is this? What is this? This Camilla procs three times, 100 to zero. Come on. Yeah. Um. Yeah. We work on the sky. Um. Reset this girl. So she doesn't have bomb. This Wusa hits for 4k. And I'm pretty sure he's really tanky. Can we sleep for two turns? Thank you. Yes, heal. I didn't need that immunity right now. I could have saved it. That was a waste. But let's still work on... We cannot kill this. It's impossible. Especially with this motherfucker on Wyland. Ah, uh, I need to. But I will heal first. I fucked it up, I didn't need Chiwo and Pra. That was stupid. Let's do this. Come on. Of course we don't get it. Of course resistant. Of course, of course resistant. <laughs> ah, nice, 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 nice. 
we are losing so much lately too much too much I need to focus even if it's boring I need to do like you know something like this go for it kill Laika work on Orion and then kill Cayman with this hopefully it can work for the second one um, I would like to go Kali Kali but that's too risky so I will go with something like this and just soon and hopefully we can kill yeah hopefully we can ignore defense on Rakan and kill him as soon as possible well I Rakan is not that problem not the problem because he will go for just soon maybe it's better if we no 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 Fucking Orion, and now look at my Orion. Okay, okay. Ooh. Shit here. No stun, nothing. So just the attack buff. Time to loot. Orion, you need to proc every turn. No, 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 no. And this Orion is always going to armor break right before. And he armor break my fucking monkey and strip the will runes. Like it was just this is bullshit <laughs> man come on fate please give us a win here i am really desperate for a win please pop and your pop and your thank you thank you so fallen blossoms will heal for nothing no violent okay go for it 19k Boah. and it's a violent rakan so no heal for that rakan we heal our just soon a bit. Yeah. 10k, no prop please. Provoke. Nice. Uh, can we crit? Boom. Uh, he won't have collapse up, I think. So let's kill this guy. Boom boom. Because he will go for just soon. And we can just soon. This one can fall on blossoms to full health and give a tick bar again. Now we can work on Rakan. He's not gonna collapse because he does not have it. But we get glanced, but it doesn't matter since Faye's gonna rape your ass. <laughs> Man, I got tilted. But I feel like a loser, like really I I get just it's just rigged, I don't know. It's so jinxed the RNG for me. Like I want to showcase something that works. Like I don't came up with this, you know. You, I just, I'm just playing for myself. Like doing Guild Wars, and then I see some comps that work every time. Like 10 out of 10. I think, wow, really nice. I found something here. Then I turn on the camera, want to showcase it in the Guild War. I get raped, and I don't want to even touch that topic anymore. I don't want to say, like. Hey, this team was so good or something like this because you know it's Lamnese and he will always get punched in the face. <laughs> well, so I need to focus on my second account and make some wins here. This motherfucking Orion stripping will runes from my fucking monkey and giving him the armor break. And of course, of course, like I cannot glance fucking over my monkey. All right. Um. Yeah, that's all for today. <laughs> so a little bit more talking this time, but uh, there will be more action in the next video, guys. So stay tuned. Bye.